What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my new map. In today's episode, we're going to be focusing on our highway system. Now, I know that the existing highway, it wasn't going to last long, especially the, the connections that we have that go to the little towns and villages. So, as our towns and villages grow, obviously, I, I just knew, well, it was only a matter of time before we had to completely redo everything. So in this episode, we're going to update some of the roads, we're going to make some brand new um, highway interchanges, some that maybe you've never seen before, well, one in particular that you've probably never seen that style before. And yeah, so lots to do in this episode. So one of the issues that we were having already was this peninsula along here has three different little villages, well actually four, and at, currently all of that traffic has to go through our main little village there, Bersheva, and I didn't really like how all the traffic has to go through the town, the villages. So what we're going to do is give them a brand new highway exit that kind of bypasses Bersheva, but I'm also going to give Bersheva its own little um, highway connection. So we can basically split the two. So we'll have the Bersheva traffic over on the left and then we'll have the bypassing traffic on the right on their own little road system. So, that, so that's part of what we're going to be doing in this area. This is the main area of concern because I know I just put in a roundabout and I was like, yeah, I'll fix it up later. So I, I know, I know you guys, I know it was going to be an issue. So obviously if you're not sure what the issue is. We have all of the existing highway traffic trying to go through the roundabout, but we also have the traffic coming from Bersheva and the villages beyond, and they're all mixing in together, and it's just slowing down traffic a little bit too much. You can see it's a little bit congested. It's just not working. So the plan is we need to make it a lot more easier for cars to bypass. Same for this one over here. So this area here is actually going to be one of our biggest cities. So the highway is actually going to be elevated throughout this area. But before we get into that, this town over here, I actually fixed this up. So there was a lot of traffic coming in through here. Um, it was just really congested. So what I did, I kind of cheated. I just put on the old town and heavy traffic, but the traffic through here was, I don't know what was going on. There must've been some kind of building that was bringing in so many vehicles. It was a real nightmare. So. Obviously in the future, we're going to have to do some kind of bypass road for over here that probably goes up through here and then goes via this area. Then as to where it goes from there, I'm not sure. But the reason why we will need to do another road in this area is because the island, it is, it's a decent island. So there's going to be more things on the other side of this town and um, we need to have direct road access as well. But let's talk about our road. So at the moment to get to this island, island, I think this one's called El Samir, if I remember correctly. They only have this little dirt road, and I'm like, going 30, 30 kilometers per hour or miles up. Actually, is it miles, 30? I don't know, whichever. Going 30 kilometers an hour is gonna take them a while, so we need to update this and get it going for them so they can get there a lot faster and a lot easier. One thing that I haven't told you guys is throughout this whole map, I've actually been changing how the lights look on the roads. Now, I'm only doing this on the main roads, so like this road here and the highways and any other main roads. So I don't really want there to be the super mega bright lights that you usually have on the map. So you know how when someone posts a night shot of their city and you can really see the roads, where the roads go because they're really bright orange or they're really just bright white colors and it's just really, really obvious. So I didn't want that to happen on this map. So all of them have been downgraded to this little lantern style lights and I do it roughly every, I think, 100 in-game spaces or meters, whatever it is. And it's it just it just looks a lot better because it takes the focus off the roads and it puts the focus back on like the villages and the natural landscape because you can see the highway, actually if you go back a second, you could see the, the other highway where I haven't updated it and it's super bright. And then our main highway, I've already updated that as well. So you guys will just have a look throughout the video. When I do night shots, you'll see the roads are not as bright as usual. Okay, so let's fix up one of our main highway points over here. So of course, our good old roundabout. I was going to leave it, but it changes more into an oval shape because I just like something a little bit different as well. So like I said, this is going to be one of our bigger towns through here. So I actually want to elevate the highway that goes through here. 
And the reason why I want to elevate it is so it allows us to easily build roads underneath it. We can do pedestrian walkways and things like that. Whereas if the highway was just on the ground level, it basically splits our city in two. So it splits it into two halves and that's not, that's not really what I wanted. So at the moment, I've only elevated just a little bit here that goes over this whole intersection. But in the future, I'm just letting you guys know all of this through here is going to be elevated so we can allow for a lot more people a lot more expansion and things like that another good thing about having this elevated highway through here is since we have this little area the little bay there uh, it's probably a good area to put some you know some jetties some docks and things like that so now that we have the highway a little bit elevated off the sea the sea level um, hypothetically it allows boats and little ships to go through it through there so it just just makes that look a little bit more realistic it's still it's still a bit low but the smaller boats could get underneath but if i do want to put the boats over there at least i can do that and you guys wouldn't kick up a huge fuss about it so this is what we're doing it's just a very very simple on and off um highway interchange i don't know if i will actually leave this here because this is going to be one of the main areas of this city so but we'll just have to wait and see how the city develops. Uh, maybe this area, it might be downgraded, it might be upgraded to something huge. I just don't know. I really don't have plans for this whole map. I don't really, like with Semi Vostok, I really planned everything out. Um, I designed it all on camera with the road systems and things like that. And I knew where the downtowns were gonna be, I knew where the suburbs were gonna be, I knew where the factories are going to be. But in this map, I actually have completely no idea at all. So. It's all a mystery, and that's what makes it really exciting, because I don't know what's going on, you guys don't know what's going on, it's interesting, like it's, and I'm kind of just letting it develop on its own, which is something a little bit different as well. Alright, let's skip past this one, this one's just very basic, it's very vanilla, um, but it's done, it should be fine, it should be able to handle a lot more traffic coming in and out now and going past, so that one's good. So let's move on to the other part over at Beersheba, where it's a little bit more interesting. Okay, so here is our pesky roundabout. Now, what we're going to do, first of all, I was actually going to just copy and paste this big one. I was like, oh yeah, can't be bothered to make a whole other interchange. But then I copied it and I dragged it over and I was like, no, I better not do that. That's too lazy. We need to, th we need to create something that's specific to this area. So first thing that I'm going to do is lower the roads down. So on the other town, I think it's El Samara, um, that area, the, the highway is going to be elevated, whereas over here the highway is going to be below the ground level. So what that does, it allows us to put up sea walls, it allows us to build easily straight over the highway without having to do really big bridges. And uh, some part of this area is also going to be a tunnel, so when we have a tunnel, it basically just allows us to build on top of it and it doesn't make it look like the city is split in half with the highway like I was talking about before. So we're going to have two different uh, highway connections. So this one is going to be specifically for going into Beersheba. And at the moment, the connections that are used, they're just very, they're just quick. You know how when you go through like constructions on the road and then you have like these really quick, janky little road network systems that they do just for the time being. That's what this is basically. It's basically just something quick that I put up that just works. But the real, the real interesting part is going to be over here. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, it took me so many different attempts. I didn't know what type of highway connection I wanted to do here. Um, so basically what we need to do is we need to have the highway going straight through, but we also need a highway connection that goes off to the right, which connects up connects up to the other villages and bypasses Beersheba. Now, like I said, I tried this so many times, like so many different methods and things, but I just, I didn't know. So I actually cut the camera just for a couple of minutes while I designed it and I could just, you know, take my time. I wasn't th thinking about how it looked on camera. The design I went with is like this. Now, what I wanted it to look like is firstly compact. I wanted all of the little slip lanes and things to be quite compact, quite close together. And I didn't want them to sprawl out towards the other side. So you notice uh, the side closest to us at the bottom of the screen, there's no road connections, whereas on the other side, that's where they all are. But to take it one step further, I want to actually hide part of the highway. Now, the reason why I'm hiding it, it's not for 
like the visuals to make it look pretty. The reason why I'm hiding it is because in a minute, I actually upgrade the highway through here, which has the, the two lanes on either side. So it's the two different separate roads. And at some point, the two main highway roads, they need to downgrade into our rural road, which is where it finishes on the side of the map there. And that rural road is actually just a one way road on either side. And I actually want to hide where those two roads connect because I don't like how it looks. I think it looks quite ugly. So that's, that's the main reason why it's hidden underneath the highway there. I also did that on Sammy Vostok a few times as well. So you can see now we have our highways on either side. And like I said, it goes into the tunnel and then it downgrades at that point. So we don't actually see it because it looks ugly. Um, we also have the other roads, the slip lanes and things like that goes into the tunnel just to make it a little bit, uh, I, I don't know what the right word is, but I just like the fact that it's hidden and it's all really compact. It just looks quite well. It just works quite well together. And the one thing I was concerned about is making it flow well enough. So this is probably the only part that you guys are going to be like, oh, that's a bit, bit sharp, but um, it works. And you know, I'm not too concerned about it. I probably could have gave them a longer slip lane along the side of the highway, but you know what, it doesn't matter. It's it's only a small detail anyway, and it all works completely fine as well. Um, the road that I'm using here, which has the median in the middle, I'll add that into my mods and asset list that is linked down below. And um, yeah, I really do like that road as well, because I don't like how it always creates the, the intersection where there's no median. So that's why I really, really like that road there. So you can see it's starting to come together. I redraw part of the highway. Now this part of the highway, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to kind of leave it how it is. And I'm not going to do anything too creative at this point. We'll just have to, like I keep saying, we have to wait and see how it all develops and just see what happens basically. Now we also have this slip lane right here. So this is actually the longest slip lane. So people who are not creative, they would do a slip lane from the elevated road directly down to the highway and it would be really steep. It wouldn't look realistic at all. So I'm going to do something that's completely different. So this slip lane actually loops all the way around and goes into a tunnel, then comes back up underneath this other slip lane right here. So it's a little bit hard to explain, but you guys will kind of get to see it as we go throughout this this speed build as well. So like I said at the start, I wanted it all to be really compact. I wanted it to be just flowy and I just, I didn't want it to really go too far beyond this, this bottom side here. So I wanted it all to be on the other side and I wanted to make it really just, just compact and just make it look good. But I didn't want you guys to see everything. So that's why a lot of the slip lanes are hidden. Uh, but I mean, it is a hilly area. It's quite mountainous. So it makes sense to utilize the the tunnels and the hills and things like that the only the only thing i was thinking about are you guys going to be like oh this this is like such a small village like how can they afford that blah 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 but um this is just planning for the future because there's going to be a lot more than just a little village here trust me <laughs> trust and believe there's going to be a lot more coming so just wait and see it will be coming very very soon so we have this slip lane that goes directly on don't worry about if the roads and the tunnels look really steep or whatever and then we have this other one that goes all the way around then loops back down underneath where i was talking about before which guys will see in a second so there it goes you can see right there so it doesn't look like much now but it works quite well it's hidden and it just utilizes the space really really well and you know what, I didn't want to do a huge interchange anyway, because our villages are quite small and compact. Um, so I thought having another a squishy highway interchange would keep it with, with the theme as well. So we have this little road here, and I was just making sure they were all at the same level. So you don't want to have it too wonky, high and low and whatever. So you want it to be all, all fairly even, because it makes it look so much better. Um, and this one basically bypasses Bersheva. It's going to bypass a lot of the suburbs and things like that that comes out here in the future. And then it just comes down here and connects to this road. Now, for the time being, I delete the road connection there just because I want to make sure that all of these slip lanes are working. So basically, I just force them to use the interchange as well. And then lastly, I just need to add in our underground connections. and But that's completely out of the way so we don't get to see that, which is exactly what I wanted. It's, it's just ugly, so I don't like looking at it. 
All right, so it looks like it's working. I was just doing some lane connections right there, but yeah, everything is flowing quite well. Um, I was noticing cars were using our little burst Shiva connection down there, and for some reason they were coming on and then this and then turning around and going back. So I didn't like that. So I made sure that they can only turn left, but then. For some reason, they were all going into Bersheva and then using Bersheva to turn around. So I come back to that in a second and fix that up. Doesn't that look good? How it's just flowing together. Oh, it's it's so satisfying seeing them use it and then everything is just working. It looks good. Oh my god, it's only what eight degrees. Hmm, that's that's strange. But <laughs> anyway, so you can see all the cars are coming in here and. I thought it looked cool at night time, by the way. But yeah, they're all coming into Bersheva. They're turning around and then going back out the map. I don't know why they do that in this game. Um, I don't know. It's just how the game is, really. So what I end up doing is going to the Bersheva policy and actually banning heavy traffic, I think. Heavy traffic and I do the old town selection as well. Just to get rid of it and because having all those cars going in there, it really ruins the Bersheva vibe that we're going for because I don't want it to be super busy. I don't want cars to be going in there, turning around, blah, blah, blah. It just doesn't suit the area. And um, over here, I'm just downgrading the roads to the little lantern things that I was talking about earlier. So you can see on the highway as well, I've also downgraded them to the little lantern things. Um, spacing is like Sometimes it's 40, sometimes it's 100. Not too concerned about it, but it just looks a lot better. You can see there's a huge difference in terms of the lighting. I know that some, or well, most highways do have major lighting, but we're doing something a little bit different over here. I was gonna say in Sammy Vostok, but no. <laughs> no, we don't have that. We're not in Sammy Vostok anymore, so. Old Town, click, and that just gets rid of it. I know it's kind of cheating, but I don't know why they were doing that. And it was just really annoying. I didn't want it, so see ya. And that's all for this episode, you guys. So hopefully everything is working correctly. Everything is everything looks like it's flowing quite well. Um, that's a good shot right there as well. Everything is working quite well. I really like how the roads kind of just slide along like a snake. They're just <laughs> they're just wavy and wonky, but it's very smooth. It works very very well. And I think it's going to fit in with the area. So you can see now, everything is starting to come together. We're starting to get our little road systems going. And it really allows us to visualize where our cities are going to be. Over here, I sunk the road as well. So we can have a lot more building space on top of the road. Um, the, the highway is sunken. So we can easily build roads straight over the top of it without having to do bridges. And the, I made sure that the transitions were quite smooth down into the tunnel as well. Over here is working quite well. And that is basically it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. And as always, I will see you guys very, very soon with another video. Bye, guys.